Welcome to the SDSU ITS Vital Lab. Today we are going to show you how to set up the HTC Vive. First, let's set up the perfect space to use the VR equipment. As you enter, the monitors for the Vive are located on the left side of the room. On the floor, there are taped indicators to show you the area to stand in order for the Vive to work. Now let's go to the cart located near the entrance. There you will find the Vive headsets. Remove the headset, the keyboard, and the two hand controllers from the HTC Vive tray one at a time. Make sure to look at the VR number listed on the tray, as that is the TV number that the headset is calibrated to. Attach the orange cables to their matching inputs on the box attached to the monitor. Once connected, a green light will glow on the headset. You can also press on the power button on the controllers to turn them on. Next, connect the keyboard to the white cable attached to the monitor. For sound, you can plug in the optional headphones to the Vive headset. To turn on the monitors, touch the panel on the wall and select VR mode. Use the mouse and open up Vive. Click on the VR icon on the top right, and once all the indicators in the Steam VR box are green, you are ready to go. Place the headset over your head. Make sure you have someone assisting you through this process. You can tighten the straps to comfortably fit your head. You can also adjust the lens using the lens knob. Have an assistant help you with the headphones as well as with the two hand controllers. Make sure to put the controller straps around your arms prior to using them. In order to see what the headset user is seeing, open up the 3D viewer screen. You can use the headset to shift your virtual environment and your controllers to make selections in virtual reality. With the help of your assistant, remove your equipment one piece at a time and place it on the table underneath the monitor. Click on the top right X to exit the program. Hold the power button on each device until the light goes from green to off. Don't forget to return the device back to its original tray in the VR cart. And don't forget to plug in the hand controllers. Make sure to close and lock the cart when finished. 